Nathan is a newborn baby with a rather unusual birthmark. I'm so excited to our new baby. He will be so adorable, I guess. Of course, he is. Mom, Mom, can we go play outside? She can't play outside right now. She has to take care of the baby in her belly. He's right, sweetie, I can't play with you. Your little brother is about to come to our life at any time. What's wrong, honey? How do you feel right now? Give me your hand. Do you feel it? Oh, I just felt it. Is he kicking? Raymond, come here. You might want to feel it too. What is it, Dad? Put your hand into Mom's belly. Oh, oh. What is that in your belly, Mom? Ha ha, he's your little brother, dummy. Five years ago, you were still in the womb just like him now. Oh, I'm having a brother? Yes, that's right. Yay, I'm going to have a little brother. I will take good care of you and him so he can play football with me. We raised him well, Emily. Yes, we did. Okay, now I will take mom to rest, and you play something else, okay? Yes, dad. In the morning. I will take good care of mom so my little brother can be so healthy. Okay, all done. Hope she enjoys this meal. Hi, mom. Good morning, Raymond. What are you bringing for me? Oh, I made breakfast for you, Mom. Oh, thank you, honey. You are so thoughtful. Hope you enjoy it, Mom. Everything is for our little brother. I will go play Roblox now. Do you feel your brother's love, Troy? He said he would do everything for you. He's such a nice brother. Ouch, it hurts. Raymond, call ambulance for me. I think I'm about to give birth. So how is my son's health, doctor? Is he okay? Yes, his conditions is very good. The nurse is taking care of him. She will bring him to you soon. Your son is very cute, ma'am. Can I hold him, please? Of course, here you are. Dad, you came. Lucy, I came here as fast as possible. That's okay, everything is done now. Everything is already done. Is he okay? Yes, you can come and see our son. Oh, my sweet beau. Welcome to our family. Can I hold him? He edge your eyes, Lucy. Oh, I forgot. What are we gonna name him? Raymond and I decided to name him Troy. Do you like that name? Yes, I do. It sounds very strong. Oh wait, there is a stain or something on Troy's forehead. It's not a stain, it's his birthmark. A, a birthmark. birthmark? What happened? Everyone looks a little disappointed. Is it because of the birthmark on his face? I feel like it's a normal thing. There is no need to be ashamed about this. Okay, okay. I don't need to hear your lecture lesson. I can't believe his face like this. How much effort have we put in to take care of him? Now he has a birthmark on his face. He looks so ugly. He didn't deserve to be my son. What a waste of that effort. Troy's parents are displeased that he has a birthmark on his forehead. He is not treated well by his parents in the family and sees him as a bad omen. Five years later. Raymond is coming home soon. This is a surprise to him. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, honey. Honey. Oh, wow. Mom, Dad. I'm surprised. That's right. We want to surprise you, honey. Today is your birthday and we want it to be special. Hi, everyone. Oh, what's this? Everyone is celebrating birthday for someone. How can you say something like that? You don't pay attention to everyone's birthday here in our house. I'm sorry, Mom. I will remember carefully next time. Today is your brother's birthday. Say happy birthday to him. You are so rude. I'm happy birthday to you, Raymond. Okay, go to your room. Your presence is no longer necessary. What? Go to your room, now. Okay, I have a present for you, honey. Really? I wonder what is it? Wow, thanks, Dad. <laughs> Why did they treat me bad like that? What did I do wrong? Am I not good to them enough? Or am I an adopted child, so they don't like me? Am I really an adopted child? No, no, I don't want to believe it. Oh my god, the shirt I bought for you is really beautiful. Thanks, Mom. It's been a long time since I have gifted from you. What? Don't forget about me. I'm the one chose that shirt. Ha ha ha. Thanks you too, Dad. 
I love guys the most. Hoo-hoo. I want to join with them so bad. But I'm afraid I will ruin their atmosphere when they see my face. What should I do to make them like me? Tomorrow morning. I hope if I do this, they will like me back. <laughs> Wake up, Raymond. It's morning. What? What? What's going on here? Why are you entering my room without my permission? What? I just wanted to call you to wake up. It's morning now and I already prepared your breakfast, Raymond. But today is a day off. You should go eat soon while it's still hot. Why are you still here? Get out of my room. You entered my room without permission. Ruin my sleep. Get out now because you make me very upset right now. I don't want to be called at this hour because today is a day off. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. Okay. I will go to parents' room. Mom, Dad, I made you breakfast. You can come downstairs and enjoy it. Troy, what are you doing so early in the morning? I want to make something nice for you. So I woke up early and made breakfast for everyone. Tro, I'm really mad because I don't want to disturb at the morning so early. I guess you should throw all food you just made into trash. We will eat something else later. What? I can't believe what you just said. Don't you think that we are too harsh on him? No, he deserved that. I put too much hope in him. Hoo-hoo, what did I do wrong? I just want to be a part of the family. They just hate me for no reason. I don't want to be the outcast. Another day at the class. Haha, <laughs> loser. Why are always sitting in the class all the time? What do you want? I don't want to be disturbed while I'm studying. Well, isn't that because you're a loser? And you don't have any friends to play with? Why are you always bullying me? I don't understand. Still don't know the reason? You're so stupid. Look at yourself, loser. Why do I have to look to look at myself? There's nothing wrong with myself. Go to the bathroom and look at your face yourself. And you will know the reason why. What's wrong with my face? What is he talking about? Something's on my face, or it is because of my birthmark here. But I think it's normal to me. So did you realize now? Is it my birthmark you are talking about? That's it, loser. You are such a weirdo. Look at your birthmark on your face. Doesn't it bother you? I feel fine. Why do you guys keep paying attention to my birthmark? If I were you, I will put on a mask or something to hide that, weirdo. Weirdo! Ha ha. Ha ha. Stop bullying me. At home. Are they right that I should wear a mask to hide this birthmark? Mom, Dad, can I ask you something? Yes, Raymond, you can ask me anything. Um. Oh, it's you. What do you want? Oh, I'm sorry to bother you. Why don't you like me? Am I an adopted child? I understood that you two loved Raymond more than me. But I just want to know the reason. Is it because of my birthmark that you don't like me? Since you asked that question, we will tell you the truth. You are not an adopted child but you made us so disappointed. What do you mean? Why did I make you disappointed? Because of the thing on your face. You look so ugly. We have too much hope that you will be the most handsome bull in our family. We took care of you better than Raymond. And now, look at you, what a disappointment. Hoo-hoo, I'm sorry. I don't want to be like this anymore. The only thing you can do right now is wear a mask or a bag, or something. I don't care what that is, just don't let us see your face. All I just saw is a disappointment. Yes, Mom, Dad, I understand. <laughs> Stupid birthmark, why are you here? I hate myself. I hate my life. This birthmark made my life so miserable. I guess I have to wear a mask or something. Troy's life is always being bullied by his friends because of his birthmark at Troy's house. I hope when I put on this, everyone will stop tease me. But if I put it on, it will make people notice me more. But they won't see this birthmark. I just need to find a reason to avoid their questions. Okay, time to school. Since then, to avoid being teased by everyone, Troy has always had to wear a mask to cover the birthmark. But that doesn't mean Troy will stop being bullied. Morning, everyone. So how is your weekend with your family? It's so perfect, teacher. We have a weekend picnic together. 
Wow, such a bonded family. I wish my family could be the same as his. That's wonderful, Bobby. So what about you, Troy? How is your weekend? Oh, um, it's just like every weekend, nothing much. Sitting in my own room. My parents and my brother were going out without me. Oh, that's too bad. Is it because you don't want to come with them, or are they not inviting you? I'd love to want to go with them, but I think I can't go with them. They just don't like my presence there. Troy, are you still here with us? Oh yes, teacher, I'm still here. It's just that they asked me if I wanted to come along, but I said no. But I think we should focus on the lesson, right? Okay then. After the lesson. Remember to do your homework, okay? The college entrance exam is coming up, so I need everyone to focus more on studying. Class dismiss. Hey there. Um, hi, who are you? I'm Troy's brother. Okay, what do you want? Nothing. But do you ever wonder why Troy always put his paper bag mask on his face? Um, he already told us a reason why he did that long time ago, but I forgot it. I don't really care about him, but why did he do that? You have to find out yourself. That will be a surprise for everyone. I wonder what he is hiding under his mask. Hey, Troy, what are you doing? Bobby, hey, I'm grabbing some books. So, what are you hiding under that paper bag mask? Um, why did you ask that? You never asked me that before. Just wondering, is there something wrong with your face? Um, I can't tell you that. Come on, show us your face. I don't know what your face looks like. Sorry, I can't. I haven't been noticing you for two years now. But now I'm interested in you, especially your face. Come on, put the mask away. Sorry, I have to go to the class. You are not going anywhere until you show me your real face. Yeah, show us your real face. I'm sorry, I can't do that. Oh gosh, what should I do? If I show them, they will see my weird birthmark. Don't let me do it for you, Troy. Stay away from me. Oh, oh my, my god. god. What the heck is that, Troy? What is on your face? Why did you do that? Is that a birthmark or something? You had such a weird birthmark, weirdo. Now we all knew the reason why you did that. <laughs> Stop teasing me, please. Hey, hey. What is going on here? Everyone stands back. Okay. Now what is going on here? It's nothing, teacher. Did you bully Troy? Everyone, go back to your class right now. There is nothing to see around here. Not you, Bobby. You stand right there. I didn't do anything, teacher. Troy, are you okay? Did Bobby bully you? What? I didn't bully him. I just want to see what his face looks like. You have no right to do that. If he doesn't want to show his face, then you shouldn't do that. Yes, I know, teacher. Here is your mask. Say sorry to him too. Sorry, Troy. Okay, now go back to the class. You're okay? I think I'm okay. Thank you for defending me. Is that your birthmark on your forehead? Yes, it's my birthmark. But that's just a birthmark. Why do you have to wear the mask? Are you afraid that your friends will laugh at it? I've had this fear since I was a kid just because this birthmark made my parents disappointed. Why did the birthmark disappoint your parents? You are not born to want this birthmark. So it makes no sense for your parents to be disappointed in you. They should be proud of you. You are a nice kid. Thanks, Miss Brianna. You are the first one to ever say such nice things to me. No one ever said that to me. I appreciate that. Okay. Now go back to the class. At home. Hi, Mom, Dad. I'm home. Okay, I will go to my room now. I won't bother you anymore. <sighs> they still looked at me with disdain, like I am a disease or something. Miss Brianna is right. It's not that I want to be born with this birthmark. I should be proud of what I have on my face. There is nothing wrong with my face. Mom, Dad, I want to say something to you. I have endured this for many years. From now on, I will never wear this paper bag mask ever again. I'm happy with my face, even though this birthmark is on it. I didn't do anything illegal, so I don't have to wear this mask like a quack. You guys should be proud of me instead of staring at me like I am a disease. I feel so released when I can finally get all of the words out. What just happened? I had no idea, just ignore him. 
Hey, it's me. Who is texting me? I'm Raymond, Troy's brother. Oh, it's you. How do I know my Instagram account to text? It doesn't matter if I'm about to say to you. Okay, I'm listening. Tomorrow at the class. Hum, I see you not wearing that mask anymore. Yes, teacher. I'm listening to you. I threw it away. I'm proud of you, Troy. No need to hide it anymore. But where's Bobby? Has anyone seen him? I'm here, teacher. Sorry I'm late. Okay, go back to your seat. What the hell? Why does he has the same birthmark as me? Hey, what the hell is this? What do you mean? Oh, you mean this birthmark. Okay, boys. No talking in the class. After the lesson. Hey, Bobby. What the hell was that? That birthmark. Are you trying to tease me? No, stay away from me. What? Why are you saying like that? Everyone helps me, please. Hey, stop saying that. What kind of mind game are you playing? Help me, guys. This guy is trying to harm me. Look at me, guys. Now I am having a birthmark just like him. His birthmark can be contagious. Oh my god. I don't want that birthmark to be on my face. Run, everyone. We should stay away from Troy. What? No, wait, you guys. A birthmark cannot be contagious. Haha. Ha. And now everyone in the school will be afraid of you. Are you crazy? Why did you do this to me? Hey, hey, easy. It's not my idea that made you like this. So whose idea is that? Your brother Raymond. What the hell, Raymond? Ha ha, it was my idea. I told him to do it. Why did you do this to me? You are a loser. Look at your face. Who wants to be your friend with that birthmark on your face? It's like you want me to have it on my face. I never did. I was born with it. I never like it. How can I remove it? I have to live with it. You don't know how miserable my life is. Do you know how many bad words do I have to hear every day, huh? Do you know how I feel when I am like an outcast in your own house? Then you should never been born. You are a disappointment to our family. Wow, you took it too far, Raymond. How can you say that to me? I will not be involved with you guys. I will call the teacher. At home. This is too far. Why did you and Troy get into the fight? He hit me first. I have had enough. After finishing the college entrance exam, I will stay in the university dormitory. You all hate me, so there is no reason that I have to stay here. Why do I suddenly feel bad about this? Do you think that we're too harsh on him? I don't know. No one will ever see this birthmark again. Since then, until the day Troy has the final college entrance exam, he only focuses on studying. He doesn't care to his parents at all. And he finally got into college. At last, I can get out of this house and live on my own. No one will know anything happens here. I can start my own life now. Today is the happiest day of my life. Oh, here is my bus. Oh wait, he dropped the wallet. Hey man, you dropped your wallet. Hey bro, your wallet. Oh what, my wallet? Did I drop it? Yes, you dropped it when you got off the bus. Thank you. So you are also new here? Yeah, I'm new. So what room are you in? I stay at room 203. What about you? Oh really? I stay at that room too. No way, man. Yes way, dude. Are we gonna be roommates? I'm Troy, by the way. I'm Steve. Nice to meet you. Thank you for the wallet again. Come on, we're roommates now. You are too polite, haha. <laughs> hmm, what do you think? I, I choose, choose the, the top. top. Ah, oh, we're, we're the, the same, same thought, thought, man. Man. Ha ha ha. Dude, Dude. I have never been laughing so much like this. Why? Oh, um, it's nothing. I'm just saying that. We should unpack our things. Later that night. I haven't laughed this much in a long time. Bro, have you done yet? Wait a minute. I'm almost done now. I can't take it anymore. No, no. Why did you come in here? Do not tell anyone about this, please. Is that your birthmark? It's my birthmark, and it's weird. I'm a weirdo. Hey, why did you say that? You are not a weirdo. You didn't tease me? No, why would I do that? Because I have same birthmark as you. 
Wow, I have never seen anyone else have a birthmark but myself. I think this is our destiny that brought us together. You don't know how my life so miserable back then. I just want to escape that life so I could begin a new life here. We're in the same situation, I felt for you. But hey, can you get out now? I'm having a stomachache. Tomorrow. Bro, someone is knocking at the door. Leave them, I want to sleep more. You open and made them away, Troy. Troy, open the door. Huh? Did he just call me? Who could that be? Hey, brother. Raymond, the heck are you doing here? What? I can't visit my brother. Who is he, Troy? He is my annoying brother, Raymond. Raymond, this is Steve, my roommate. What do you want now? Can't you spare my life for just a month? Come on, mom told me to look after you. You're new in the college, you might need some guide from me. Oh, now mom cares for me? Since when do I have that privilege? I can do it on my own, I don't need your help. I think that is a good idea. You can tell us about more life in college. See, Steve needs my help. Get ready and we will leave soon. At college school. The school looks nice, isn't it? There are a lot of people here so be careful when choosing friends. That is a good advice. You to just go find your class. I'll go to the toilet for a while. I guess this is our class. Hey everyone, nice to meet you all because we're in the same class now. Why did you push me? Oh no no. Is that a birthmark? Oh, you have a birthmark. That's so cool. I have a birthmark too. See. Wow, look at this birthmark, guys. It looks like Harry Potter's birthmark. You're right. I wish I have a birthmark like you guys. What? what? You guys don't tease our birthmarks? But it's weird, you know. We won't tease you because of that birthmark. Besides, you look like the real Harry Potter with it. What? That is not supposed to happen. You have to tease him. We are not like that type of people. We do not use other people's flaws to speak badly. You're right. And who are you, anyways? If you are not the student in this school, please leave. I can't believe it. This is my very first time I have seen such nice people like you guys. My whole life and Steve's have always been teased by other people. Yeah, we just want to thank you for protecting us. Thank you all, guys. Remember, we all have our own beauty. We don't need to hide anything. We're special in our own way. The end. Thank you for watching. A random winter day of 2012. <coughs> Dad, hold on a little longer. We're almost at the hospital. Son, just leave me. I don't think I can overcome this illness. What are you talking about? I'll never leave you. Here we are. Doctor, I need help. My father is so weak now. Please, save him. What's wrong with him? I don't know. But he has been coughing for days. Is he going to be okay? I can't tell anything yet, but I'll try everything I can. Good luck to you. Thank you, my son. A few hours later. Doctor, how is my dad? Is he okay now? Sorry, kid. We tried our best. What? You're joking, right? He had been suffering from lung cancer for almost a year. Besides, the cold weather made his disease worse. Dad, how can I survive without you? Now, I have no one left in this life. Poor him, maybe he doesn't have a house. I should do something. You should come in and see him one last time. I'm sorry for not taking good care of you, my son. Please, say nothing more. I'll always watch over you from heaven and I'll bless you. Live a good life and make me proud to obey. Dad. Come back. I'm so sorry for your loss. Here, you can take some money. Use this money to find him a good place at the cemetery. And don't deny it. I want to help you and your dad. Thank you, doctor. One week later at the cemetery. Dad, it's been a week now. How is your life in heaven? I miss you, dad. It's so hard to live without you. Oops, it's raining now. Goodbye, dad. We will be reunited soon. Oh no, only have less than $20. How can I continue to survive? Oh, there is a tent here. Hey, kid. Get out of the tent. What? No way. 
This is my place. We don't care. Get out of the tent. Oh, look, he has some money. Ha <laughs> ha. We will take this. No, you can't take my, my money. I missed the part where's that my problem. Get out of here. No, my house, my money. After that. I'm so hungry, but I have no money left. I feel so powerless. I hope I can earn some money from this area. Excuse me, miss, can you help me? Hello, bacon boy. How can I help you? Do you want to buy a hot dog? No, but can you give me one hot dog for free? I'll be grateful, madam. What? Are you kidding me? No, I'm not. Let me explain. I don't care. Stop bothering me and go away. Please, I'm begging you. No, go away. Otherwise, I'll call the police to arrest you. Excuse me, how much for two hot dogs? Ha ha, welcome here. Just five dollars. Okay, here you go. Give me one minute. Okay, thank you, we can wait. Done. Enjoy your hot dogs. What the, you little kid? Hey, my, my hot, hot dog. dog. I'm going to teach him a lesson. Dad, I just did a wrongdoing. I'm so sorry, but hunger made me do that. Here you are. Huh? Oh, no. Why did you steal our hot dogs? I, I'm sorry. I have no money left. I don't even have a house. Please, show some sympathy. I'm begging you. Come with us. We'll take you to the police station. No, they will put me in jail. I don't want to go to jail. How annoying you are. Save your words, darling. I'll teach him a lesson. Don't ever steal from anyone again. Otherwise, the consequence could be even worse than this. Enough, darling, leave him. Hayes, what is the reason for my existence? To be a poor orphan and get bullied, huh? Huh? What are they doing over there? Why are they throwing food away? Hi, it's. I need to find a solution to reduce food waste. Excuse me, chef. Can I ask, why are you throwing them away? They are leftovers from guests, and some are out of date. Do you mind giving me those foods? Okay, very well. Here you go. Thank you. You're welcome, and thanking for helping me reduce food waste. I can survive for a few days with these food. Give us those things. What? Not you two again. Leave me alone. Do you know this is our area? And everything in this area is ours. No, this time. Then we'll use force to take them. Oh, crap. I need to run. Not so fast. Ha ha ha. He is such a loser. Can my life get any worse? A few days later. Oh, I'm so tired. I should sleep now. I hope they won't chase me away. But suddenly... Oh my god. A dog, get away from me. I hate dog. Oh my god, who are you? Why are you laying outside of my house? Are you a thief? No, I'm not. I just need a place to sleep this evening. Old lady, please. I have no place to go. Are you kidding me? Get out of here, or I'll call the cop. Okay, okay, I'll leave. I'm sorry. Oh my god, stop chasing me. Ha ha ha, how hilarious. Run away, you little thief. The next morning. Ha, this is funny. That's right, and we are doing the right thing. Black cats bring bad luck to the world. We should get rid of them. Oh my god, what do you think you're doing? Stop it. You're hurting the kitty. Please, give it to me. Nope, why must I do that? Give us ten dollars. Then maybe we'll consider that. But, I have no money. How pathetic you are. Hey, cut it out. I mean it. You are so evil. So what? Are you going to do something? I'm gonna put some dirt in your eye. What did you say? What the? Let's go, kitty. I'll get you out of here. Jesus, he really put some dirt in your eye. Shut up, girl. It's okay now, kitty. Don't worry, not going to hurt you. I'll cure you. Thank you, boy. What? Did you just speak human language? Am I crazy? 
Haha, <laughs> no, you are normal. I am a magical cat. Oh, I see. How interesting. Do you want to become my pet? My parents are all gone, and I don't even have any relatives. Maybe having you by my side will help me live a better life. Okay, that will be my pleasure. Thank you, kitty. I'll raise you properly. After adopting the black cat, Toby's life got better. He found a job and a place to live. Okay, here is your salary. Thank you, owner. Okay, you're welcome. I'm leaving now. Remember to lock the door properly before you sleep. I will remember that. Good. I'll buy Kitty something to eat. Hello, Kitty. What I have for you? Wow, cat food. Haha, <laughs> that's right. Eat up, Kitty. Thank you. Life went on peacefully until one day. Hayes, it's been months. I hope he is still okay. Huh? What is this? Finding missing cat, huh? What? Isn't this Kitty? What should I do now? That evening. Hey, Kitty. What's wrong, Toby? You look nervous. Are you a lost cat? That's right, but how did you know? I'm just asking, but why did your owner lose you? Well, a guy tried to stole me from him while we were on vacation. I don't even know if he's trying to find me. He's trying to find you, Kitty. Look at this. I'm looking for this cat. The reward will be $10,000. Oh, it's really him. So what are you going to do now? I'll give you back to your former owner. And take the money? No, I won't take the money. I just want to return you to him. I will come to visit you usually. You are really a nice guy, Toby. Thank you for the compliment. But did you ask for my opinion? What if I want to live with you? Trust me, Kitty. I know what is the best for you. Who is that? Excuse me, is this Mr. Peter Osborne's house? I've found your cat. What? Really? Hello, boss. Did you miss me? Oh my god. It's really you. I've been missing you, Inc. I tried so hard to find you. Come here. Thank you, young man. You help me a lot. Wait here. I'll come inside to take the money for you. Thank you, but I don't need your money. The cat is back to its true owner. That is the good thing. Oh. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. But I want your permission to come here and visit him. I've got no problem with that. Thank you, Mr. Osborne. Now, excuse me. Hey, Kitty, what are you doing? No, you are not going anywhere. I want you to live with me. Mr. Osborne, please adopt him. He is a good boy. Oh my god. Ink, what are you doing? Let him go. No, Toby is my friend. Mr. Osborne and Toby tried so hard to convince the cat to let him go. Toby then had to get used to the black cat's absence. One week later. Hey, you look sad. Are you missing your pet? Yes, boss. I gave him back to the former owner. Yep, you did the right thing, boy. You should feel happy about that. Hello, kid. How are you doing? Huh, kitty? And Mr. Osborne? Why are you here? Little boy, do you want to be my adopted son? What? Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. But why? Kitty told me the whole thing about you, boy. I feel so sorry for you. Whoa, ho. Besides, I want to make Kitty happy. He needs a friend. I can see how happy he is while having you by his side. Thank you, but I need to ask for my owner's permission. You don't have to. I allow you to go. Can I go? Really? Yes, you can go. I'll be fine, kid. You can visit my restaurant anytime you want. Thank you, you and Mr. Osborne make me have faith that good people still exist. Okay, let's go. Excuse me, I'm leaving now. Bye bye, Toby. After being adopted by Mr. Osborne, Toby was very grateful and quickly showed his intelligence. Mr. Osborne also favored him like his own child. One year later, Jesus, we ran out of money again. What should we do now? What kind of stupid question is that? We need to rob some money. Let's go to the crime alley. Maybe we can find a random fool and take his money. Let's go. Baby, why are we here? This place is a shortcut. We can go home sooner. But don't you know that they call this place the crime alley? Don't worry, baby. I can protect you. Give me your phone and the necklace as well. No, 
My mother gave me the necklace. I can't give it to you. Are you trying to drive us mad? Well, well, we've met the third time already. Who, Who the, the hell, hell are, are you? you? I'll send you both to jail. What nonsense are you babbling? Officer, over here. Some guys are attempting to rob money over here. All of you, put your hands in the air. Oh, oh no. no. I think you two should run away. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Listen to us. That was just a mistake. We didn't mean to harm them. Stop making excuse. I witnessed the whole thing. It serves you right. Have fun staying in jail. Who, Who are, are you? you? I am the guy that you stole money and the tent. Enough talking. Thank you for reporting the crime, young man. That's my duty, officer. Go. No. No. Please, spare us. Let us go. Good riddance. I just made this society cleaner. Now, it's go home. The end.